Today we're going to discuss, discuss uh, assembly and disassembly of a T3 transfer pump. Uh, these are the newest pumps that Graco came out with. Uh, the pump itself, it's just like the standard T1s, to T2s. You have a variable cylinder where you screw it into it. It also has a check valve right here just like the other ones. Uh, it's held in place by a pin. There's a pin that goes through there that holds the ball in place. Um, your second ball is right here. To get this off, it's easy. Take this cotter pin out, this pin slides out. Put this in the vise and unscrew it. On the end of it, it has the ball that everybody's used to seeing. It looks just like a foot valve ball on T1s and the T2s. You have your shaft that comes up. Um, Graco puts these inside the box. Um, they assist in tightening your bung down and they also assist. You can use them for working on the check valve here. The main difference is on the uh, T1s to the T3s is a T3 has a spring actuator right here that sits on top. What the spring does, it builds up pressure and pops it back and forth. And it redirects the air down into your actual cylinders right here to tell it to go up and down. This uses less air pressure than the normal one. If you pull this off, there's two O-rings right here and here. You want to make sure when you're putting it together that they sit. This one's still right here. So that's one of the O-rings I tell everybody to watch out for when you're taking this apart and putting it together. The actual assembly itself isn't bad. Uh, it kind of reminds you of the old style T2s. You'll still have the stain control on it and stuff like that. Uh, to get this out from here, you have to unscrew this whole assembly to work on the piston in here. This spring right here, it'll move. If you need to uh, tighten down the packing, you have the ability to tighten down the packing in here on this packing right in here. It comes apart just like the old T2s. You take these screw out right here, this whole assembly comes off, and then you loosen this up to replace the packing. Once you replace the packing, you push it out, put the new packing in, and then you tighten your set screw down on your packing. Uh, this pump here, it's brand new. Um, it uses less air. Air is a commodity. We tell everybody air is a commodity on a foam truck. Um, you use it, you need it, don't waste it. Uh, putting this back together is pretty simple. All the parts, this has a separate piston that you're used to seeing. This one here, the air motor itself, is just a, a flat piston that goes up and down. As air pressure pushes it, pushes it down, the spring makes it pop up. This redirects the air, it has air passages in here, tells it which way to go and when to go, which way to go. Putting it back to, together, you want to make sure that these are seated. Put it down in there. And then you don't have to go super tight on this. You want to tighten it down, but you don't want to pinch the rubber wash gaskets. So you want to just tighten them down. And do it like you do on a car. Cross, cross tighten it so you're not going to warp the housing itself. Uh, parts for these, you can get a lot of parts. Uh, the main thing is uh, certain parts you have to buy the whole setup for that specific part you might need. You might be buying parts that you don't need. So I just keep them as spares. Um, talk about the gaskets. There's a gasket right here. As this sits on, it just sits down. It's got a rubber gasket, it seats itself. Um, here's your air intake. That's where you put your, uh, not air, but uh, 
the bleed off where you put your uh, hose for your air going to the pump. The actual chemical outlet is, hang on a minute and I'll turn it and you'll see it. I just want to put these in here. Chemical outlet's right there. That's where the chemical comes out when the pump is working. Everybody, that's where your three quarter inch hose is going to connect. Uh, you got different locations. If you want to do a research system, you can plug it into this plug right here, pull this off. When you put this back together, put some plumber sealant on it and tighten it down. This is two pieces right here. Um, getting it apart, you need a, a spanner wrench, or not a spanner wrench, but like a oil filter wrench to grab this to twist it. Normally, this doesn't leak. Once it's seated, it's good to go. The main problems you might have are these two valves right here. If you get some junk in them and they hold open, the pump will double pump like it's cavitating and it's not. Just screw this down and like any other pump that you do, when you screw it down and get to this O-ring, don't go crazy. Make sure that O-ring's sitting flush when you're tightening this down so you don't pinch it and cut it. If you pinch it and cut it, you're gonna lose fluid out of this area right here and the pump's gonna continually pump. Leaking air out of this, the only place I can that I've seen leak air out is right here. Um, if you have to separate the actual pump shaft from the air motor shaft, there's a pin in here that's held in place by a locking ring. Just pop it off, push it, it'll disconnect this. So this assembly can be worked on separately than this. Parts of the pump are interchangeable with the T2. Um, not a lot of them because this is a newer pump. Um, the top part, it's, it's totally different. Uh, it still works the same way you're used to seeing it. It's just that the action itself changed. That's why you have this spring here. Um, on the inside, that's what causes, when it comes down, it hits it and pops it back up. There's a cap right here. If you got air leaking out of this, Pull it out replace the o-ring there's one here and there's one down here it holds the assembly together if it's leaking any air you can you'll feel it come out right there just replace the o-ring as you're like i said anytime you replace an o-ring when you're putting it back together do it slow so you don't pinch the o-ring if you pinch it or roll it then you're gonna have to go back and replace it you didn't fix nothing you're gonna have air leaking um other than that, the pump's pretty well standard. Uh, like I said, this is the old style where you have these right here. Pull it apart, you gotta pull these off, which screw into the housing, which holds everything together. And that is the T3 pump in a nutshell. It's pretty easy to work on. Um, the main thing is this part right here, if you have any issues with it, that's what you have to look at. There's a spring in here which gives it tension, which causes the pump to cycle. All it is is a ball, and it's got passages in it, and as the ball goes up and down, the spring goes. When it gets to a certain point, it clicks it over to go up or down. 